Hi, I'm Gayatri. So today I have an interesting topic to talk about and I'm pretty sure that you're going to find it useful. But before we begin, I want to ask you something. Are you someone who is kind of lost and not sure where to search and how to apply for a job? No worries. Why fear when I'm here? I know that sounds a little cheesy. So today in all about HR series, I'm going to be talking about job search strategies and I will also be explaining the approaches to job searching. So let's get into the video. So now I'm going to give you quick tips on how to find an ideal job and then later we will see and discuss about the approaches to job searching. Tip 1. Self-assessment. So what do you mean by self-assessment? So you need to assess yourself and find what ignites your passion and what work fuels your motivation which will actually be very fruitful and profitable for you. Now say for example, your friend or your neighbor who has finished graduation just like you, now they might be getting into IT or they might be getting into say a designing field. You shouldn't be influenced by them just because they are getting into that. I need to get into that. No. Check what exactly and where exactly your heart lies because that's what is going to be more fruitful for you. Tip 2. Set clear goals. You need to outline your personal aspirations and you need to have a structured strategy. You might feel or you might think what I'm telling is something very cliche, but trust me, it is not. One needs to really have clear goals to land on a right job. Tip 3. Build a strong resume. Your resume needs to showcase your pertinent skills, experiences and achievements. So, meticulously structure and personalize your resume. Tip 4. Network. The moment I say network, don't go back into your computer networks or your network connectivity. I'm talking about networking with people. Building a network is very essential. It actually begins from school and it goes to your college and goes beyond your work. For example, now imagine you are uh, studying and you know you are in your graduation. You have an opportunity to become a placement coordinator. Please don't just miss out of that opportunity thinking, okay, that's too much of workload for me because that is where the networking with HR begins. So don't miss out on all those small, small opportunities. And in your work also, please go to other department people and try to have a good rapport with them where you can build your network and make it more bigger. Tip 5. Develop your skills. You need to consistently enhance your expertise and understanding. So you need to explore more opportunities, participate in workshop, enroll in courses and also make sure that you get certifications that are verified. And also don't forget to brush on your soft skills as well. The final tip. This tip is very important because this tip is all about how you stay persistent and resilient. Because you know right, applying for a job or searching for a job is no cakewalk. You have so many challenges and of course, definitely there are going to be moments of discouragements as well. But again, please don't give up and make sure that you try try again until you succeed. So now let's talk about job searching strategies. In this, I'm going to tell you approaches to job searching. Now, there are four ways how you do this. The first is job boards. The second is networking. The third is job fairs. And the fourth is how to use social media platform as a leverage to apply for a job. So first, let's talk about job boards. You might think, right, what is this new term I'm talking about job board? Job board is nothing but a fancy name for job portals. So what is a job portal or a job board? Basically, an employer will advertise the company's opening in a website. So that is called a job portal or a job board. Networking. By expanding your professional network, you are opening yourself for more job opportunities. Say for example, if you are working in a company, try to mingle with other department because a recent study at over 200 companies stated that 27% of their employees are from a referral program. Next, attending job fairs. So basically what is a job fair? It is also known as career fair or it is also known as career expo.
so this is basically an recruitment event right or it is an recruiting event where you have potential employers and you have potential recruiters looking for potential employees for their firm so this gives a great opportunity to all job seekers because you don't have to keep walking into different companies going to different locations make sure you're present at the right job fair and apply for the right job that you desire and finally leveraging through social media platform now tell me something isn't it very different from today or uh, say 10 years ago how one was actually searching for a job say compare 10 years ago how a person was applying for a job you have to look into the papers you have to walk in and you have to keep searching in the newspaper you know where opportunities are there or where openings are there but today it is very easy you can just sit under your roof and check out what kind of opening is there and in which company the opening is there through social media platform and a classic example for this is linkedin and for anyone who is looking out for a job opportunity or for a new position the first stop should be linkedin all these social media platforms are very user friendly now i'm talking about linkedin right so in linkedin you can actually uh, inform everyone or you can inform people that you are actually looking out for a job where it says open to job or you are searching for a job and also you can also set alerts in the company you like or for the job openings that you like once you know the opening is there an alert or notification comes to your inbox so make sure if you don't have an linkedin account after this video or even during this video right now make sure you create one account for yourself now it's time to let out the secret to you guys i'm going to give you the top 5 skills which are on high demand in 2023 so they are management communication customer service sales and leadership make sure you brush these skills on a very high level in order to land on your ideal or your dream job as i mentioned in the beginning of the video i believe this topic today was in particular interesting and you found it very resourceful and for more topics on hr related please comment in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to guvi channel and click on the bell icon